Networking is not simple. For example, partners and participants have their own opinions, ideas and wishes about the values, visions, which they hope networking to fulfill, in the beginning I mean. Communication between the partners and participants is challenging because of different backgrounds and ideas about what has to get done. Networking is not simple because there might be different ways in acting and different methods in use. Difficulties in fundraising might occur. Um, lack of other resources, tool, equipment, space, staff and volunteers. And of course, sometimes it's a quite an awkward situation because um, those, those organizations in the same region or same community, they can compete, for instance, about the volunteers to get the members to the associations and to get, get hands to, to have this, the work done. And, but if you stay like in competing, then everybody loses. Uh, while, while you understand this and you invite people to network, to work together, then you get more resources, you get more things done, and you can even share the volunteers, you can share the jobs. And then there might be also problems in keeping the schedule. Then sometimes you get frustrated if nothing goes smoothly, you have conflicts, you don't understand it, uh, each other's, and there are delays, there are not, people are absent, they don't have so much effort to join in, they have so their own, own other activities they are taking part in and time, is, time isn't enough. You have to maybe think also that how tolerant we actually are. Sometimes you can say that diversity might be annoy annoying when for instance, if you are, have different methods and different ways to work, different kind of schedules, so uh, everything doesn't go like, like you want yourself or I want myself. If you think that conflict and failures, they can be a disaster. Everything can be stopped. Cooperation can be stopped. But if these conflicts and failures are um, dealt and handled in the right way, it can promote development. It can challenge actors to innovate. It can brighten the need of change. So everybody understands that something has to change. And uh, those aims which you had together, they don't disappear. They have just uh, went background because of these conflicts. So when you realize that and charge, start to uh, solve the problems, then it, it might bring very good solutions. And of course, if we agree always everything, Everybody is, we have consensus. It's easy to continue as always. And what does it mean? It usually means that nothing new is developed. It's a very secure way to continue. What is the clue of partnership? What keeps us together and gives, gives sustainability? I must say that commitment, faith, trust, appreciation. We can wait for commitment, faith, trust and appreciation from our partners only through our own commitment, faith, trust and appreciation. There is a saying that do things how you want, 
that others will do things for you and treat others like you want yourself to be treated. And then what about if you want to make this clue of commitment, faith, trust, appreciation? What kind of ingredients ingredients you have to have? Mm, first, maybe open discussion and communication It's very important. Then networks has to have jointly decided aims, vision, mission, values, even strategies, methods, schedules. Uh, you have to respect of diversity of participants, sharing expertise and getting it into use. If you don't have discussions, if you don't know your partners, you might lose some, some good, good resources, good expertise. In the small communities, it's easier because most people and most organizations know each other's work. When, but when you go to the bigger, bigger um, uh, communities, bigger towns, bigger cities, bigger region, then then it's more challenging to know each other and know these actors on the same field you are working at, in. Then you have, have to have decided responsibilities and roles and, of course, leadership. Somebody has to lead. And what is more, more, very important, partners are listened and they are also heard. They are taking into consideration while decision-making. Then you have to evaluate the process and the work and the did you reach the aims from time to time, regularly. And then you understand uh, when it's time to invite new, new partners to, the, to enlarge network. Then one um, interesting thing, and it's a, it's a challenge also, uh, is that you have to discover the future, to be a fortune teller. Um, somehow you have to sense the weak signals of community and in community. It needs ability to figure out and understand the future developments and needs in the field of working and if you understand that if you have that ability it makes the network interesting and attractive for for actors you have to look for weak signals not of current needs which are already existing of course you have to deal with them too but it's it's vital to look for weak signals of the needs which, we, which will be actual after some years and which we must be ready to respond. And we have to prepare ourselves and we have to develop activities. We have to be some steps before the development goes on. How to do this? You have to, first of all, listen to people, follow up developments and decision-making in the society and in your own, own community. You have to keep asking yourself that where the development takes us in the near future. Which issues we should work with at present to avoid ne negative effects later on.